Hi there everyone. I'd like to encourage any one of you who are suffering persecution and I'd like to share my own persecution story. Um, we've been attending a local church fellowship for uh, more than a year and a half, not too far from our home and recently due to um, my beliefs, me, due to me believing that Jesus will succeed in overcoming the curse of sin and death that came through Adam to everyone. Now, due to that, um, we have become ostracized and rejected by our church community. Um, they asked us not to come for a while so that I could uh, have time to think about it and repent of my doctrine. Um, and then they came and saw us again and uh, they... They didn't say don't come back, but I got the general gist that uh, they didn't uh, want me back. Um, anyway, I thought I'd test the water, and I did go to church again. And um, this is the story of what happened. Um, I thought that it was likely that something like this might happen. I thought they might throw me out physically, which they did do. Um, but um, Jesus commands us to take up our cross and follow him and so my flesh nature did not want to be rejected but um, in obedience to God I followed Jesus and I took up my cross and I walked into the church and um, I sat down in a chair down the back and within moments um, three men descended on me and they grabbed me under my neck uh, in a headlock and dragged me out. <clears throat> On the way out, I called out, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they're doing. And um, they threw me out, and as soon as I was out, uh, look, you know, I have nothing against them. I realise that they are doing this because this is the lusts of their father that they will fulfil. And it's written in Scripture that they will do these things. And I understand that they have no choice, that they must obey um, him whom they are subject to. So I blessed them. I said, bless you, brothers. Thank you, because I knew that it was um, only if um, a congregation like that reject me that um, I can actually go through the uh, process of being rejected and hated by all men, which is... Um, something that anyone who desires to live godly in Jesus Christ must indeed do. So I thank them for it because they are the vessels by which I get to experience this rejection and to be counted worthy to suffer rejection for the testimony of Jesus Christ. So I'll just read you a few scriptures that declare that these things must take place and that they were fulfilled. And this is on the 25th of April 2010. I won't give the name of the church and I won't give the name of the people who were the ones who actually grabbed me, nor the leaders of the church who must have, they must have been ready for this occasion and um, decided and prepared to get ready to do this. I won't give their names. I had my little video camera on me and I took some footage, um, but I won't use it because I actually love these people. I don't want to embarrass them. Um, I don't want to name them personally. But I do want to read out the scriptures that say that these things will occur. Matthew 10, 25. It is enough for the disciple to be like his teacher and the servant like his master. If they have called the master of the house Beelzebub, how much more will they malign those of his household? Oh, yeah. Later on that day, I met a few guys um, from my church in the local park and, yeah, I was told that I was possessed by the devil and um, I was I rejoiced that uh, they insulted me in the same way that they insulted Jesus praise God okay Matthew 16 24 then Jesus told his disciples if anyone would come after me let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me 2 Timothy 3 12 indeed all who desire to live a godly life in Christ Jesus will be persecuted now, this doesn't mean we seek persecution, but it does mean if we are not being persecuted, then we must not actually living, be living a godly life in Christ Jesus. John 16, 1-3. 
they will put you out of the synagogues. Indeed, the hour is coming when whoever kills you will think he is offering a service to God, and they will do these things because they have not known the Father nor me. Spoken by Jesus. Matthew 10, 22. And you'll be hated by all for my, for my name's sake, but the one who endures to the end will be saved. So much for the five minutes in his prayer, but he who endures to the end will be saved. John fifteen twenty five, But the word that is written in their law must be fulfilled. They hated me without cause. Uh, these people have turned their back. Friends have spoken to me face to my, to my face and said, we can't be friends anymore. And uh, it's not due to my behaviour. They all think that I did something terrible. But the truth is, I walked in and I sat down in a chair at the back of the church. The same thing that everyone else in that church did on that day. And the same thing I've done hundreds of times before. But this time, it was an offence to them. So they have hated me without cause. 1 Peter 2, 22-24 when he was reviled, he did not revile in turn, in return. And when he suffered, he did not threaten, but continued entrusting himself to the one who judges justly. When I was dragged out, I blessed them. I said, bless you, brothers, and thank you. And I said, my work is finished, which it is in that church. And um, I walked away. And I know one day we will be reconciled in righteousness before God. And at that time they will understand why these things have occurred. And I told them that in this kind of frame of mind. The Lord just blessed me that day with the ability not to be um, at all upset by the occurrence. Um, it was lovely. Okay, Colossians one twenty four. Now I rejoice in my sufferings for your sake, and in my flesh I am filling up what, you, what is lacking in Christ's afflictions for the sake of his body. And this is what we are called to do. Fill up what is lacking in Christ's afflictions for the sake of his body. So we are to take up our cross and follow him, be rejected and be hated and be persecuted and to be thrown out of the synagogues. Whether they reject you socially or drag you out like they did to me, um, these things are written of those who are the body of Christ. So I praise God for all these things. Um, yeah, I took some footage. Uh, no, I'm not going to put it up on YouTube because probably the members of this church will, will watch this video and I don't wish to embarrass them. And I do wish to um, extend my love to them still. They're all welcome at my home. They can come anytime, anytime they feel like uh, calling me up and having a chat and checking out, you know, what's going on with me. Um, you're all most welcome. I love you all and I, I, I am absolutely sure that there will be a day before the Lord where we are reconciled to one another. And I long for that day. Bless you all and to all you universalists out there. Take courage. These things are written that they must occur to us. So rejoice in suffering for the testimony of Jesus Christ. He is the saviour of the world.